Hey everyone, this is Brian Drury of Overcoming Graduation, and today I wanted to bring you a quick message on helping you overcome fear of speaking. Now, this message comes from my friend Susan Leahy and is one of the most powerful and simple techniques I know in order to help you overcome fear of speaking. Whether you're backstage, you're prepping for a speech, or if you're just even thinking about speaking sometime in the future. And that concept is this. It's an acronym, it's very simple, but when put into practice, it's super, super powerful. And that acronym is STAY. Stop thinking it's about you. So stop thinking it's about you. That acronym is so powerful because if you think about the reasons people experience fear before a speech, they are all internally motivated. It's when we're thinking I, 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 or me, me, me. What if they don't like me? What if I don't do a good job? What if they don't like me? What if I'm not good enough? All of these things are internally driven and focused and motivated, but when we're able to flip our focus to the audience and their needs, all of a sudden it helps the fear evaporate. Let's say for example, you help people with fitness and you're terrified. What if they don't take me seriously? What if they don't think I'm credible? What if I'm not good enough? That's gonna really cripple you. That's gonna slow you down and you're gonna come out on stage with a different energy and you're also going to speak with a different energy. But if you remember stay, stop thinking it's about you, and then you go, okay, what am I here to do? Who am I here to help? And can I help the people out there with the information I have? If you go, yeah, of course, the info I have is amazing. It helped change my life. It's helped me change the lives of my clients. And then you go, well, what if there's someone out there who just needs that bump, just needs that little push, that little bit of information, that bit of motivation. And by you speaking today, they may get on that journey to finally take control of their health and fitness. You see how it all of a sudden has this very different focus, this very different feeling, this very different energy behind it. Same thing could be if you're someone who helps people with habits and motivation and you go, well, what if they don't like me? What if I don't have good enough stats and statistics and things to fill people in? But then you go, what if I can help that person finally beat this bad habit? What if I can help somebody for the first time do a week of working out seven days in a row for the first time ever? Is that worth it? Is that worth getting out on stage and getting past my own fear? When we start to think about the other people this is gonna benefit, it completely changes the game. So next time you have a speech or you're prepping for a speech or you're about to go on stage or even you're about to log on to a Zoom conversation because that's the world we're in today, I want you to remember the acronym STAY and think about the people out there, what your message could do for them and how it could change their lives. One of the best ways to do that is to remember how those messages impacted you and what it enabled you to do in your own life and when you think about them, what they need, who out there is hurting and your solutions could offer them an ability to either cure the pain or reduce it, then all of a sudden you're gonna feel much freer and able to share with confidence on stage. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed today's short message. Please, if you did enjoy it, subscribe and share this out with your friends and following. I love you guys. Thanks for being a part of this. Thanks for joining today. I'll be talking to you again real soon.